Look at this. Gas up a full five cents overnight to yet another record high, 467. My point is that inflation spiraling out of control. Mm. Sandra's with me, and Sandra grilled Biden's senior advisor, Gene Sperling, on rising gas prices. But you know, Sandra, you didn't get very far, did you? Take Sorry I jumped in there. I'm all shook up. <laughs> oh, uh, very good. Let, very good let, yeah. let me just throw to a little sound of that. And you know, you say grilled. I think these were really fair questions I was asking I of was someone, senior advisor to the president. These were fair questions to ask in a moment where people are really suffering. Here's just a little bit of it. Hmm. Give us a forecast. Where can you have gas prices? Let's let's say by the end of the year, where will they be? This is a serious issue. And what you're doing right now is trying to put me in the position of being a forecaster. What is your ability to control those prices and bring them down? What you want from your president is that they're doing everything they can. So what do you think of the president's plan for get fighting inflation that was in the Wall Street Journal? I was really hopeful that the White House was really serious about tackling a, a problem that most think they're way too late to address, but that they were really serious about this. They've said that the, the president is really zeroing in on this problem, finally, uh, that the president's obsessed with these high gas prices and bringing them down. And when I spoke to Gene Sperling, asking him a simple question about, OK, so based on this plan, where does that leave us a couple months from now, six months from now, with gas prices? To say you're not a forecaster concerns me because any economic plan or policy should have a yes. forecast, yes. meaning prices should be lower than where they are today. And the last I checked, an economist's job is to forecast. So I also pressed him on who is advising the president. You saw Janet Yellen. She gave an interview this week um, to CNN yesterday. Uh, Wolf Blitzer played out multiple times as prices were rising, where she was asked about inflation being transitory and held to the idea that it was and that prices would not become a problem for the American people. He played it out. She responded, and she did take some uh, you know, responsibility for getting things wrong. So now the question is, can they right the ship? Can they get this right? So you have to ask yourself, does that plan show us anything different than what they have laid out so far? You know, our colleague Larry Kudlow, I sat with him last night on his show, and I, I asked him, and he said, no, there's nothing different in here that we have not already seen from this administration. That's true. And that is a political dilemma for the president. His approval rating has dropped below 50% in 49 states. That is remarkable. That's lower than President Trump's, as a matter of fact. That's across the board. It's going to be very hard for him to make any kind of political comeback by November. Let me just add to that. Uh, he, his approval rating um, below 50% in 49 states, including California and New York, and as low as 19% in West Virginia and 23% in Tennessee. So you've got this big deployment of his economic advisors, top advisors to the president. They're hitting the TV waves. They're out there. Uh, you have to wonder what the messaging was from the president. You've got this hmm. deep NBC reporting citing anonymous sources. The White House says it's not, you know, this is not the way things happened. Uh, but apparently the president, according to that reporting, is saying, get out there, fix this, and yeah. fight for me uh, on, on the messaging and what he's trying to do here. So but it's we'll not a messaging problem. It's a problem. Planning problem. Amen. It's a policy problem. That's what I don't get. But I will be watching your performance at one o'clock ah. Eastern time today on the Fox News. 